Okay, I've modified the previous network to show how the redistribute static command would work in a RIP version 2 network. And what I've done is I've added another router to the network over here, and this router is not running RIP. Okay, so this router does not have RIP running, and it has three networks attached here on the right hand side a 192.168.1 network, a 192.168.2 network, and a 192.168.3 network all slash 24 right and this is host 100 100 100 right so these PCs are attached directly to Ethernet NICs on this router and the router is obviously 192.168.1.1 and one over here and one over here right and the interfaces are active so it's got three connected routes here right this router has three connected routes and it has a connected network in between these two routers called uh, the 210.210.210 .210 .210 network right and that's connected so this router has four connected networks and it's not running RIP so in order for this router to reach this network over here and then all of these networks here I put in two static routes one static route to this network and then another summary static route that would cover all of the 173 dot 16 networks so I'll show you that right here so if you click on router 3 and we go to config and we go to static you can just see really quickly that I've got two static routes uh, in here and let's go to the command line interface and just look at them in the running config though so we'll say show run and tab over to more right hit the space bar and there's our two static routes this one is to the 209.165.2.201 network and then this one is to a 173.16.0.0 network with a 16-bit subnet mask via the next top router which is 210.210.1 right so 210.210.1 is over here on this interface 210.210.2 is on this interface so all it took was two static routes for this router to know about this network and then these five networks. Why? Because they all start with 173.16. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, well, how will these two routers learn about these 192.168.1 networks if this router is not participating in RIP, right? How will it learn about these two networks, right? and that is that's a good question right so how will it learn about those two networks so what we're gonna do is what we'll we'll do is we'll put in a static route on this router a summary route so that this router can talk to these three networks over here and then we'll use a redistribute static command so that this router sends that static route through the RIP routing updates to the other two routers and then these two routers can learn about that route or these networks through the redistribute static command so all we have to do is we have to first of all find what's our summary route going to be for these three networks the 192.168.1 the 2 and the 3 network well I've written 192.168.1 over here in binary and then this is 192.168.2 in binary and then the 3 in binary and you can see that if we look at the last common bit, the last common bits right here, it's the 22nd bit from left to right. So the summary route will be 192.168.0.0 slash 22. Okay? So that would be a summary route that would cover a 192.168.0 network. It'll cover a 1 network, a 2 network, and a 3 network. It'll cover these three networks, and it'll enable this router to have only one route in its routing table to reach these three networks. So we'll put that in first, all right? And I'll do a Control-C and exit, like we're starting from scratch. Hit Enter, and Enable, and Conf-T, right? And we're going to say, all right, I want to go to IP route 192.168.0.0. And now we need a slash 22 subnet mask, which is 
dot two five five dot two five two dot zero and then the next hop IP address well the next hop IP address for this router is 210.210.210.2 so we'll put that in here alright okay so now this router here should be able to ping these networks right there and let's try that out so control C and you can see we can hit host 1.100 and 3.100 so we're good so now this router can talk to these three networks now to send that static route we'll look again in the routing table here show IP route that there is a static route to that network right there right and we want to send this route with RIP routes we want to send that route with our connected routes through RIP to the other routers so to do that what we'll do is we'll do a conf t router RIP and then we'll type in redistribute tab redistribute static and we'll put in the redistribute static command and now these routers should learn about that summary route to these networks here and know how to get there so we'll look in this routers routing table and see if it learned it enable conf t uh, oops I'm sorry show IP route and you can see that it's learned through RIP about the 192.168.0.0 network slash 22 this is a summary route and it's learned it through RIP even though it's actually a static route to these networks because this router is not participating in RIP if this router was participating in RIP version 2 we wouldn't have to do that but it's not so that's why this router redistributed the route to the other two routers and now this host should be able to ping these networks. Let's try it out. And there's a ping to the 2.100 and the 3.100. So that's important. And so what does that mean? It means that the redistribute command worked. This router learned about the route to these networks, but also that on my static routes on this router to get all the way over here also worked because to ping you've got an echo request all the way over to here and then an echo reply that has to go all the way back so these routers need to be able to route backwards as well so success